Angry ghouls, pitch black rooms, unnerving sounds, and some really creepy looking ghost children are just a sample of the horrors that await players brave enough to dive into the latest installment of the Fatal Frame series, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. Neither a sequel nor a remake, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse is a new standalone story. The tale centers around three young Japanese women who were victims of a kidnapping 10 years earlier on a remote Japanese island. Prompted by the mysterious deaths of other victims of the incident, each woman sets off to learn the truth behind what really happened. The detective who originally rescued the women follows closely behind once he learns of their actions. <laughs> Fatal Frame opts for a slower-paced, explorative style, relying on an immersive atmosphere to construct a bone-chilling experience. Players are required to search the darkest corners of a decrepit manor, which is no simple feat considering the occupants. Just beyond that next door or around the next corner, potentially, lies one of numerous ghastly apparitions, hell-bent on scaring both you and your character to death. And that's no play on words. Your character can literally be scared to death. Your only real weapon is the Camera Obscura, a device with the ability to slay spirits with a well-framed shot. Initially, players will start with the basic camera and film, but they can eventually upgrade both. Many ghosts take only a snapshot or two to be defeated, but boss ghosts require much more skill and nerves of steel. Dissolving specters, solving simple puzzles, and collecting items are all required to progress through the many chambers of the house. The majority of the game is played in third person with the main characters walking, trotting, and strafing via the nunchuck. A simple flick of the Wii Remote spins your character around, and its pointer functionality controls the camera's direction. Photography sequences act as the game's combat and shift the mechanics to first person. Once a ghost comes into focus, the camera must be held steady in order to charge up and take an effective shot. Eventually, you can even chain shots together for combos. Fatal Frame 4 sports excellent visuals, making very good use of lighting to set a chilling mood. The speaker on the Wii Remote is used effectively for creepy phone calls. The Japanese retail release suffers from frame rate issues, especially when entering new rooms. There are also a few instances of annoying invisible objects and poor collision detection. At the very least, Fatal Frame is a much needed core experience on the Wii, and it certainly lives up to its reputation for being one of the most unsettling gameplay experiences around. Hopefully its issues will be resolved by the time it hits North America, although a release date has yet to be announced. Ooh.